Hello everyone. Here is our starter. There are two identical fridges for desserts. One of the fridge has five out of eight of its room left, and the other fridge is only one out of eight full. How much room is left? So by looking at the key keyword, we know that the mathematical operation we use here is subtraction. So we need to find out how much room is left. So first one is five out of eight, and the other one is one out of eight. Five out of eight and one out of eight. So looking at the denominators, we can understand that the denominators are same, and those are like fractions. So now we are going to subtract. Five minus one is four out of eight. Today we are going to learn about fractions and lesson focus question is how do I use shapes to find equivalent fractions. So by the end of the lesson you should be able to identify the fractions that are equivalent. You should be able to compare and place the symbol accordingly equal or not equal. And you should be able to draw shapes to show the equivalent fraction. So before begin the lesson, we should know what are equivalent fractions. And equivalent fractions are fractions with the same value. Here you can see two fractions are given. One is 1 out of 2 and the other one is 3 out of 6. Now I am saying that 1 out of 2 is the same as 3 out of 6. If it is same, that means these are equivalent fractions. So what do you think? Yes, the numbers are different. So I'm going to prove. So how can we show 1 out of 2 is equivalent to 3 out of 6? When two fractions are equivalent, this means they are the same in terms of shape and size, but are expressed using different numbers. So you need to think about the same in terms of shape and size, even though it is in different numbers. First, I'm going to prove that 1 by 2 is equal to or equivalent to 3 by 6. For that, I just draw two shapes over here, two rectangle shapes, and I have divided the first one into 1 out of 2 and the other one is 3 out of 6. But when you think about the space or the amount of shaded area, it is same. See, I have shaded 1 out of 2, the half of this rectangle box. When you think about the half of the rectangle box, you know that this part is shaded. The same amount is sh shaded, right? So, we can say that 1 out of 2 is equivalent to 3 out of 6. Although the digits are different, the amount of shaded area is the same for both fractions. So remember to focus on the amount of shaded area. Maybe numbers, the fractions, the numbers are different. But still you draw the shape and see the amount of shaded area. So here we, I can say that. 1 by 2 is equivalent to 3 by 6 because the a shaded area both you can see the same only. 6 out of 12 and 1 by 2 are equivalent. So always remember the amount of shaded area. That is what tells you whether the shades are equivalent or not.
try this so we need to find first fraction first shape fraction is 2 out of 8 two parts are colored now we need to shade the correct fraction of the shapes so out of 4 how many parts are equal to this 2 so when i i'm going to cut the first shape again same like second shape okay i just cut like this so i could see that the one here this part is again divided into two in first shape so obviously i need to shade one part of this shape so it can be here it can be here it can any one part you can shade so the answer will be one out of four two out of eight is equal to one out of four b one of out of three is shaded so again i'll take the amount of shaded area okay i can see this area like this okay then color any two parts that will be equal to one out of three so in first figure two out of eight is equivalent to one out of four and the second one out of three equal to two out of three now the fractions identify the fractions that are equivalent so look carefully the shaded part and try to find the equivalent fraction yes the answer is b and d do s d here is your task read carefully and do the answer in your notebook answer key is given you can check and do self-assessment quizzes code is already sent use the quizzes code to enter the game and complete the quizzes thank you